Hello everybody and welcome back to Technological Journey 2. Today we're joined by Dam. You can find a link to his channel in this video in the description. So make sure to go subscribe to him. In the last episode, we got this base. It's a pretty cool design, I think. And we we're just keeping our multi-blocks over here and our sea machines over here. So in today's episode, we're gonna start off by finishing up the sea mage, and then we're gonna progress into the LVH. But first I say we should work on the primitive alley smelter, because we are quite close to getting that. So down set up this little flax farm right here because we'll be needing string in order to coat the cables in the future and flax gives a bunch of string and we also have some sheep spawn eggs so we can make a sheep farm in the future if we ever want to all right do we start by yeah we start by making the primitive alloy smelter so so before we make the primitive alloy smelter we're going to start off by making another primitive blast furnace so to make the controller block it's just some iron rods plates and screws and then we also need one of these fire bricks. So now we have our controller block, and now we can just build the multi block. And that is our working primitive blast furnace. So now to make the primitive alloy smelter, we're going to start off with making the control block. Looks like it's just some pistons, motors, and some of these fire bricks. Bruh, how do I run out of sticks? <laughs> you ran out of sticks. Oh, by the way, I made the other uh, primitive blast furnace. Nice. So that should be all the motors that we'll need. And there is all of our pistons. So we can just combine them together. And there is our controller block. So next we're going to be making the bronze holes and then the input and output buses. We are short on bronze for right now, so we'll just do the input and output buses first. For that we need to make some machine holes, which is some raw iron plates, some machine casing, and then some light cables. We actually don't have any cables right now, but it's a very simple recipe. It's just some wood wires, rubber sheets, and then some string, and we have plenty of those. So I was AFK for like 30 minutes or so, but Dam got us all the input buses and stuff, as well as the bronze holes. I did not. I need. I need the lead cable. I, I need the lead cable for that. I said I made the holes and the casings. That's it. Oh, okay. I thought you made everything. So next, we're going to be making the lead cables. So now we have our lead cables. Nice. Along with our glass. Nice. All right, put it in the chest. I have everything to make the casings. And now I can start making the ULV machine. Oh, nice quest. So these holes will be used in the making of the input hatches, the output buses, and the input buses. So let's craft the input bus. Looks like we just unlocked the coke oven from that. We might make that in the future for cool coke. Actually, we probably will be needing this in the future so we can start getting some circuits. Oh, it's two input buses. Can you... Do you have a screwdriver? We can change it. I made two output buses by accident. Do you have a screwdriver? I have a screwdriver. Okay, put it in the crafting table. Okay, I threw all there the great tech tools into the chest. There we go, input button. There we go, that's the quest. All right, now we just have to build it. Do you have the controller? So now we have everything that we will need to build the primitive alloy smelter. So let's get to building it. All right, here. And that is the primitive alloy smelter built. So we have our input buses right here to input some items, output bus right here, going into this chest. So all items output from this will just go straight into this chest. And then we have our input hatch right here for any fluids that we want to input. And then we're probably going to put a coal boiler right here, so it can just input steam directly into our primitive alloy smelter. There is, so we can we can try and get the steam oven smelt up to eight items. That, that sounds nice. good. Upgrade to our furnace. Yeah, we need invar, so we needed yeah, we needed invar, which is the which was locked behind the primitive. But I'm gonna try and get fused quartz right now, which is four pieces of quartz. Do we have quartz? I kind of want to expand the base. Oh, there's quartz. So you can find quartz vein in the overworld. I'm gonna... Yeah. I remember seeing a quartz vein, I think. Bro. Oh. Bro. <laughs> I was trying to put it in the chest. I was trying to put it in the chest. <laughs> Bro, look, look at this guy. He just lit me on did. fire. <laughs> you know what you get for I that? Did, you know I what didn't... you get for that? One free arrow. No, no. <laughs> Damn it, you died. <laughs> no, no, I can... Look, if you right-click someone with, with a flint and steel, they get lit on fire. <laughs> and you did it again! <laughs> <laughs> My bad, I, I just wanted to make sure. Looks like Down made the second small coal boiler for the alloy smelter. Alright, hold on. I, look, I, I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna go to the nether. So we decided to go to the nether. Because we needed something. I forgot what, though. It was quartz for fused quartz for the reservoir. Yeah, that's correct. I'm gonna get some quartz and also... Uh, 
nickel for the invar that we needed for the next quest for the oven. Be careful when you're digging down, because there's like lava. Right <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh no, that did not just. I fell in lava <laughs> and I logged. I fell in lava. Didn't I just tell you to watch where you're digging down? There's just lava right I underneath fell in you. lava and I instantly left. Oh no. So, I don't think I've explained this yet, but we got into the architecture craft a little bit, and we made something like this. Ignore the spear right there, that's totally in Minecraft. We're just missing the block right there, we'll replace it eventually. So, it looks like Dao made us our fuse quartz to get the ender roar. Basically, what this does is you've seen him use it tons of times in Nomi Factory. What it does is it's basically an infinite water source. Then we can just connect like something like a pipe to it, and then connect that to a machine, and we get our infinite water to that machine. We'll probably be doing this with the coal boilers. So, we got the ender bar in place. What it does is we hit it with the yada wrench, which basically just means the auto outputs into this steam coal boiler. So we have an infinite water source for this now. We will probably be doing something similar for the other one. So, it has been many hours later, and I have made our entrance look a little bit nicer. Honestly, I don't know what I was doing here, but it looks pretty good. I also expanded our area by a large bit. Ignore these, we'll probably change these back into these in the future. But also in the, that time spam, Down got us a steam oven, which uh, just basically smelts a lot of things out of fast. It's just a furnace that does eight uh, items at a time. And then we also upgraded to these high pressure steam coal boilers instead of the normal steam ones that we were using. So I just went, came back from being AFK and Dom has gotten us the uranium and that type of stuff to make the item conduits, so now we have access to that, that's great. And I also uh, made this look a little bit better by just placing some vertical slabs right here so that we can still open up the chests. So, if you guys may have noticed that all of these chests are Christmas presents, that's because we are recording on Christmas Day. This video will probably be going out like a week or two after that though. So right now, Daum is making us some glass tubes in the primitive alloy smelter. And Daum is also making us some red alloy ingots and also getting the circuit board. Okay, so while Daum is making our circuits and that type of stuff, I'm actually going to start on our LV room over here. Basically, this is going to be the entrance and I'm going to have like one face over here and then one face over there as some glass so that we can kind of see into the room. I'm probably going to be using this gray border glass right here because it looks pretty clear. We just don't want to be using the basic glass right now because in this version of Minecraft it is terrible. So I was thinking that we should have like five blocks indented here, just as like a mini hallway or something. And then on the sixth block, we'll have the entire room open up. I'm thinking like a 15 by 15 room would be good enough for right now. We know it's expanding the future though. So we were both thinking after we get our circuits, we are going to get these tree beacons, which what they allow us to do is basically automate trees. We're probably going to be getting two of these, one for rubber and then one for like probably spruce since we use that a lot in our builds. And we're going to use that spruce actually to put it in a coke oven and that will give us creosote oil which we can use as fuel in the large bronze boiler which is going to give us steam to power our LV machines using yep. a steam turbine. Yep, that is the plan. After we get our circuits, we're going to get a coke oven and then the large bronze boiler and then all kind of comes together. Speaking of circuits, Dam actually got uh, some of the coded circuit boards and also some red alley ingots and is starting on the vacuum tubes as well. But getting back to what we are building, we're actually going to have this area over here be uh, like a little bit of greenhouse area so we can have our tree farms over there. And then we're going to have our glass over here so we can look into that area. And then for our LV room, I'm just going to do the, I'm just going to dig out the sand for over here and that's where we're going to have our LV room. And then we're also going to have another face over there, so that we can have some glass there as well, so that we can see into the elf. Hopefully you get what I'm saying right now. It may sound a bit complicated, but I assure you it's not. Looks like Dem just got our first circuit. There we go. Primitive processor. Which is amazing. We can now start getting into LV and that type of stuff. And we can also make these free beacons now. They actually require three circuits each. Fuck. And we probably want like two of them. Bro, yeah, you know, I remember in my in my Nomi Factory series when I had the handcraft circuits and, and the recipes weren't cheap. I got eight red alloy ingots from the quest. So you may have noticed that we built this room over here. 
this is probably going to be for AE2 when we get it. We only need uh, LV stuff for AE2, so we'll probably be getting that in this episode, maybe? I don't know. Maybe next episode. But I just figured I may as well build the room for that. So, that's what that is. And if we come over here, this is where we're probably going to be putting our LV machines. Just in like a line right here, and then we can automate the input and output. And then I do actually need to expand this hallway a little bit by like two more blocks, because it's kind of crowded as it, how it is right now. Alright, so we can also now craft our LV casing, and we can upgrade it to the LV machine hull, and now this is what we use for machines. So, wait, so he wants me to make a, it actually wants me to make a steam turbine first, before I get any machines, and I'm just missing some power. medium bronze pipes, which, there you go. Yeah, it probably does. Anyways, so here's the basic steam turbine. Nice. And I think I might, I might either craft another three of these boilers and just make this setup again, but over there. Or I might steal these ones temporarily. I don't know. Alright, and after a bunch of micro-crafting, we actually now have our first electric pistons as well. Which is a quest, nice. And that unlocks what, the bending machine? Where are the bending, oh, so the wire mills are the bending Yeah, yeah, like that, and then we just mirror it yeah. on the other side. Yeah, once we, once we expand. Okay, so there we go, now we can upgrade two... So now that we have two LV machine hulls, we can now actually craft both the wire mill. There you go. And also, the bending machine. Oh no. Wait, no, we're fine. I can make two more motors. Now we can get the bending machine. There we go. Quest complete. Nice. So, let's uh, let's go ahead and set these up. So, honestly, I've just been making this little room right here for A2. Uh, we're probably going to be getting that next episode and also sorting out our power next episode. So that we can actually get a decent A2 setup. But while I was doing all that, Dalm actually... Finished crafting up circuits and that type of stuff and made us our LV stuff. So how it works is this water from the ender bore, which is an infinite source by the way, goes into these steam coal boilers which makes our steam and then the steam goes into the steam turbine which powers both our machines right here. For right now we only have the bending machine and then the wire mill. But I think that's probably going to do it for today's episode. I hope you have a great rest of your day and go subscribe to both me and Down. But with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bro, the A2 room is looking pretty good though.